And I'm delighted to say Michael is with me in the studio now. Uh, welcome. Thank you for being with us. Glad to uh, be here, and I appreciate you having me. And, uh, you know, I, I told you I watched the... Uh, the channel, so. That's good to hear, that's great to hear. Now, um, we just saw footage of you there uh, visiting the uh, the carnage in uh, Kibbutz Beri. Um, you've been visiting the kibbutzim, you've also been with the, the families uh, of, of some of the hostages. It, it, it seems as though this uh, atrocity has really affected you personally, is that right? It has affected me personally. Um, the entire situation, the massacre, the um, the fact that it's 75 days and there's still so many hostages and there's still many people, so many people dealing with the heartbreak of what, what what's already happened, the soldiers that are, um, you know, fighting and the soldiers that are going down um, and just the, the, the whole the whole incident. And all the aftermath of it is is uh, is upsetting, and uh, and and of course, to me, it's a separate situation. But the the sort of anti not the sort of the anti Jewish sentiment, the anti Israel sentiment, um, I could just say in my country and in my city uh, is very very upsetting. Well, right, yeah, I want to ask you about that because you you grew up Jewish, yeah, in New York, New York City. I yeah. mean, uh, did you ever experience anti Semitism growing up, and and how do you feel about? The scenes that we're seeing in the city now, I mean, in, in Penn Station yesterday, we've seen um, Jewish businesses uh, being yeah. targeted, we've seen people who are visibly Jewish being physically yeah. attacked. I mean, it, how has the city changed? Well, I never experienced anti-Semitism in my life growing up in New York, spending a lot of time in Brooklyn and, you know, went to high, you know, my whole young adult until I was 19. Um, and uh, I never had face to face. To be to be honest with you, I, I I really started to hear and see a lot of anti-Semitism on social media in the last I say nine years. Blatant, you know, uh, anti-Semitism. Um, I don't like the anti-Semitism in New York. I don't like uh, Jewish people feeling uncomfortable. I don't like Jewish businesses being harassed and attacked and vandalized. Um, and I don't like the uh, the poster rippers. The, this whole sort of un... Um, um, it was like a... Like a it was adding insult to injury. The incident itself was one thing and then you're like this unimaginable anti-jewish sentiment the moment the same day and certainly the the 8th october 8th celebrating and you know invigorating and all these words and quotes and these rallies it's it's been i think a, a surprising to a lot of people it's very been, been surprising to me and I, I i don't like it i'm not comfortable with it i don't like it i don't support it and um not it makes me um, angry. It makes me upset. It makes me scared um, for 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 all Jewish people. I don't like it, especially in Manhattan. You, I mean, and it's young people, isn't it? A lot of the time, we've just had this poll out um, that says, you know, the majority of young people see Jews as an oppressive class, um, and that a lot of people also saying the best solution to the conflict here would be to just hand the country over to Hamas. I mean, what's happening to the young people in America? They're, they're so uneducated and so misinformed and um, a, all the participation trophy, trophies that we've been talking about, the jokes, the Gen Z, the, um, you know, interviewing their feelings, the bathrooms, the pronouns, all of that, all of that, the Kanye West, the, all of it has been a stew, uh, and now we're eating that stew with the young people. It's turned into anti-Jewishness, anti-Semitism, anti-Israel, and it's blatant and it's in the open and only with Jewish people would it be accepted. It wouldn't be accepted with black people, Chinese people, Puerto Rican people, uh, 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 Asian people, gay, lesbian, uh, any any other uh, to be openly like that is only with Jewish people. Um, kind of a blind spot for progressive politics. Yeah, it is, and 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 you know I have my thoughts as to why, uh, uh, but only would it would only be accepted so openly again with, with Jewish people in Israel. Well, let, I mean you're a successful <coughs> comedian. Let's talk a bit about Hollywood um, because this issue seems to have kind of 
divided Hollywood a little bit. We, early on, we had this letter, 700 uh, artists signed it, condemning Hamas very strongly. And then there was a bit of a scuffle with the, the Writers Guild, wasn't there? Um, they didn't want to condemn Hamas. And someone else pointed out, well, you, you know, you stood with Me Too and you stood with Black Lives Matter. Why can't you stand with Jews? I mean, what do you think is the future for Hollywood? And do you think a lot of relationships are, are going to be broken? But how do you think I mean, I can't say, I could say, I think some relationships will be broken. I think Hollywood will uh, uh, eventually figure out what makes money. At the end of the day, you know, like it's a business and, and it's my business and it's a great business. It's a flawed business like any other business. Um, but they'll, they'll figure out what makes money, what sells. Um, you know, they have been sort of pushing agendas and stereotypes of best friends and, you know, all these kinds of sort of, they've been these stereotypical characters for the last four or five years. Um, they'll, they'll figure out what, what needs to happen, what sells, what doesn't sell. And, and uh, um, you know, as far as the support, you know, people are taking, people are paying attention. I can say Jewish people um, in Hollywood are paying attention and people that are on you know that are that are that are understand the situation and have spent a little time to educate themselves are paying attention. And, and again, you know, you can be uh, uh, not agree with the politics of Israel. You cannot agree with this war. You could uh, uh, not agree uh, a bunch of things. The anti-Jewishness and the blatant anti-Zionist and the blatant anti-Semitism is when it, it it's not okay. That's one of the arguments that uh, people on the progressive side use. They say, oh, we're not anti-Semitic. We have nothing against Jews. Oh, it's we just Zionism. don't want Israel to exist. It's Zionism that we don't want. We did, hate Zionism. Did, did, that's, this is all that fancy slick, cute way of, uh, you're full of shit. See, we, we, we stopped saying you're full of shit. Uh, 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 we stopped doing that. And, 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 and this is why we're hearing too many opinions. Um, and opinions are great, uh, but doesn't mean they're necessarily valid. It's bullshit. It's fucking bullshit. I know you're bleeping this. So that, I, 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 the bleep button I know you're, you're bleeping. I'm only, I'm only cur I just want to say this. Make sure you keep this. I'm only, I'm only cursing because they're bleeping. I know they're bleeping. You, like, so I'm in control of what I'm doing. If this was live, I wouldn't curse. <laughs> Thank you, Michael. We appreciate it. Um, it's difficult to offend our audience. Um, you have Ashkenazi heritage, right? I think you're full. Your grandparents came from from Eastern Europe, so obviously they uh, escaped the Holocaust. Um, no, they didn't. Oh, are they? No. They're, they would have been targeted in the... Of course, in yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah. you know, that generation, you know, just two generations ago had to deal with anti-Semitism, and now it is back, rearing its ugly head again, uh, in a different form. It, it's, do you think America is safe for the Jews going forward? I think America is safe for the Jews in the big picture. Do I like what's going on? Does it make me comfortable? No. Am I conscious of where I'm walking in New York City? Yes. Am I aware of my surroundings more since October 7th? Yes. But we're not going anywhere. Israel is not going anywhere. Jewish people are not going anywhere. So am I saying it's the best time to be Jewish in terms of you know, safety in America, in New York City, in, in cities. But also, it's it's a lot of what we see on the media, um, the clips, they're more frightening. Because when I've been, you know, before I was... The clips of people being harassed and... That, that, that sucks. It's real. But it's not like, you know, every single corner is... For, you know, it's it, we're not at that point. We're far from that point. And, and I urge people to remind themselves, especially in New York or uh, in New York and other people that are seeing that, are, you know, we see all these horrible things in the clips and it, the clips are making all of us crazy mm. in, in, in every, every, every way, shape and form. But, you know, I could say for New York, um, I'm walking comfortably. I'm paying attention, but I'm walking comfortably. Uh, you're such a strong advocate for Israel. I'm surprised to hear that it, this is your first visit. Why did you never come here before? Well, I never came here before because I haven't been to a lot of places. You know, my my if you went over my travel um my travel uh resume, it's not it's not very impressive. You're not a big traveler. No. I've never been to London. So, you know, it's like I'm not a big traveler. Um you know, as far as, you know, Israel and there's a lot of places. I just I just it's just I don't know why. You know, I don't like flying. Is it what you imagined? 
it's it's well, I'm here, you know, in a very unique time. Mm. And, you know, so many people talk about their trips to Israel and their first trips to Israel being this magical thing. And although my trip, my first trip to Israel, this trip to Israel is not like the normal first trip to Israel coming during a war, it has been magical beyond belief. And I say that um, seeing everything, the heartbreak, the, the devastation, seeing the resilience, seeing the sparkle that um, people still have in their eyes, um, seeing the city, seeing the pride that people have in Israel, uh, even though um, people are critical, um, seeing the pride that people have in being Jewish, uh, seeing the people together, um, all sorts of people, and... Um, all those things, the, the the emotional journey of this trip has been has been magical. It hasn't been a. I went to the Dead Sea trip. I'm no. not going to the Dead Sea this trip because I, we've, me and my wife have already made a promise to come back. But I'm so glad that I'm here, and and you know we've extended our trip twice, and I I couldn't be. Um, just I couldn't be more happy that we came. A lot of Jews who come here say they they feel like they came home. They feel like they're with with a family. It's like being part of a big family. It is like being part of a big family. And the, the Israeli people, the people that live here, are so warm and so just have a spirit. It's it's like this, um, you know, people talk, it's like a world, uh, it's like a, a sort of a stereotypical thing. You hear about these people's spirit of Israel. It's, it's apparent as soon as you, you hit the ground. Have you been to Jerusalem? I've been to Jerusalem, um, and I just... I was. I, I did some tourist stuff. I was at the market during the day. I was at the market last night on a Tuesday night and walking around. And I was, you know, I made a fake reproposal to my wife. Just the How emotion yeah. of that place and the beauty of that place and the history of of that place um, took my breath away. That was one of the more uh, positive sort of. Um, Things from the trip because a lot of what I've seen has been horrible. It's been horrible, and it's take taken my breath away in not a good way. It's been it's been horrible to 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 see uh, uh, Kibbutz Berry, it, to to be at Kafarasa, um, and 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 talk to families that are, you know that are still waiting for their their kids, their fathers to come home, and and that's that. This has been horrible. It's been horrible, mm. and and heartbreaking, and 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 so frustrating. Do you feel like it's important what you're doing? You're bearing witness. You can carry the message. You can tell people what happened because there are a lot of people trying to deny that it ever happened at all. It's a hundred and fifty percent. A hundred and fifty percent. The fact that people are trying to deny what happened is again. It's only with Jewish people in Israel. Only would they even that would come out of their mouth. You know, we see a lot of terrible things, uh, a destruction in Gaza. No one would say this is fake, this isn't happening. No, nobody would say that. Mm -hmm. Only with Jewish people would you deny what happened uh, 75 days ago and continue to de deny it. It's crazy. How's your Hebrew? Horrible. <laughs> Next, next to nothing. It's not an easy language. I have a couple of words, but I don't want to embarrass myself or offend anybody. So I, it's 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 next to nothing. It's next to nothing. It's terrible. Any plans to learn? Yes, we want to come back and like you know yeah. learn. Yeah, a hundred percent. I would I would love that. Have you been to the north of Israel yet? I've been to the north. Um, I can't remember the name of the city, but I had a great experience for, further than that. Uh-huh. Um, and, oh, man, I, I can't remember. Uh, cool. It, 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 uh, oh, I don't know. You, you know, well, I'm not the, saying... We've got the other fight, of course, in the north that's coming. That's concerning. Yeah. Very concerning. Israel has to fight. Israel has to fight, and the uh, uh, United States has to stand and continue to stand by. Are you proud of how the, the U.S. government has stood by Israel? I love a lot of what Joe Biden has said. I don't love the 
sort of good cop, bad cop of Kamala Harris. Mm-hmm. I don't like it. And, and we see it, Kamala, Kamala. We see the good cop, bad cop. We're not stupid. We, we see... You know, the the old good... It's like, we, this ain't NYPD blue. <laughs> okay? We've seen that routine for years. Um, I don't like the, the squad mm. and their bullshit. I haven't liked them to begin with. I think they're totally full of shit. Um, I like what, you know, Bernie... Has, wow, yeah, that was unexpected. Yeah, that, that was unexpected. I like what Hillary has said. Yeah. Um, and it's funny... Say it again. Fetterman. Fetterman's good too. And, and the funny thing is, is because Bernie and Hillary, when you talk about Gen uh, uh, X, Gen Z, Gen Z, they're like they have Bernie and Hillary tattooed on their body, and now they're like Fuck Bernie and Hillary. Yeah. Wow. We're gonna we're out of time, Michael. But you've given a lot of people a lot of comfort coming to see us here in Israel. So thank I, you so much. I came for for people. Michael Rappaport. Thank you. Thank, thank you so much. You. Thank you.